t- t- tells me apart from the other Marquises. All right, well, great job. Let's go on to dry number next square. We're going to do a super tall a birdhouse. This is going to be really cool. I'm going to open up the text box, and you guys let me know how how did you like that the drawing of the three birds on a branch. Take your finger, take your finger, and go. Aha! You guys are so cool. I, here, let me hear you go. Yay! Time to draw the birdhouse. Yeah! We're going to draw a really cool birdhouse in 3D. We're gonna, uh, you love it, love it, love it? Look, I'm getting these great text messages from Asher and Lily and Stacy. What we're doing right now, if you're watching this recording, this is our Mighty Art Mondays with me, Mr. Mark. Yay! And these are webcast live, and then we record them. So I'm going to draw a birdhouse right in the middle here. I'm going to draw... I'm going to draw the center line for the picture, right down the middle. I'm going to use two squares. See this? I'm going to do two squares tall. And then down here, we're going to draw a bird flying, a bird swooping in. It's going to go, it's going to be really cool. So that'll be our third drawing. So this one's going to be a tall drawing. Now at the top, I'm going to block in the top of the birdhouse. Okay? I'm going to slant it down. I'm going to build this. It's going to be really neat. I'm drawing very, very light line sketch, 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 and give me a one through ten in the text box for sound. How, how, how's the sound? Put a dot. You see the middle line's going to be lower, so I'm going to go uphill to the right, and I'm going to go uphill to the left. Now these are the drawing direction compasses. Remember, one of the most important things I'm going to be teaching you is the drawing direction compass. And I want you to print up a copy of this. This is a, a chart that you can print up right down there in the bottom of your corner down there. And you'll see. So give me a 1 through 10 right now for the video quality. Let me see. I'm getting uh, – yeah, let's see here. Okay. Okay, good. Now give me a 1 through 10 for the audio quality. And for those of you who haven't printed this yet, down there in the bottom corner, there's a chart that is called the drawing compass. These are the – the four most commonly used positions that artists use when they draw northeast, northwest, uh, when they draw objects. These are the northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. If you take a bird or you take a camel or you take a pencil, whatever you're drawing, those are typically the four positions that you... So right here we're using direction north, east, and direction northwest. This becomes clear as you draw more and more and more with me. All right, excellent job. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lock the text box so everybody focuses on the drawing. Now, right below here, I'm going to draw this birdhouse. So I'm going to come in. See, the, see how it overhangs here a bit? See, how, see it, how it comes out here? It overhangs just a bit. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to leave. Okay. So there's the beginning of a birdhouse. It's going to be really cool. Then we'll put shingles on the birdhouse and everything. Okay, so we're coming down here. It's going to be really tall. And I'll put some posts coming out of it. It's going to be neat, neat, neat. All right, so over here on this side of the birdhouse, I'm going to put in put a, our first window. Let's erase this line because I'm not going to use that. We'll just erase that for now. All right. So I'm going to put the first window. And this will be really cool. And then underneath the window, put a dot right here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up. Here we are using our drawing direction compass. You see this this angle southeast. This is a regular compass. This is a foreshortened, a squished compass, and we're going to use this angle right here, southeast. I'm going to follow this line right here. See, it's following this line, coming down in direction south. You can even put an arrow right here if you want. I'm drawing light. This is set direction southeast, and I want to put a a post. Actually, I'm going to make my post my post quite long. You can erase. That's why we use pencil. See, this is why we start with pencil, and then we add ink later. We start with pencil, and then I ink it, and then I color it. See, these, these are the, just the different. These are the different stages I go through. See, I start with a pencil. Here's my pencil. Uh, the bird's flying, right? Here's the pencil. The bird's flying, and then here is the ink and the color version of the bird's flying. Okay, I always start with pencil, light pencil first. It build it lets you build confidence. So it's four short and circle. Look at it, it's larger, it gets smaller, 
And there's our first bird post. Isn't that cool? That's a little bird post. And we'll have a bird looking out the window here. It's going to be great. All right, now right over here, I think I'll put a bird, let's put a window right here, just a little bit lower, to make it look interesting. So I'm going to put, a, this is a circle squished. That's a foreshortened circle. That's one of these words. If you were to print up this handy chart, the 12 Renaissance words of drawing, foreshortening is the first most powerful word. Then placement, then size, overlapping, shading, shadow, bonus, density. All these words are so important. So this is a squished circle. Let me open up the text box because I want you guys to give me a, I want you guys to give me a, 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 a foreshortened. Someone type in foreshortened. Someone type in size. This is larger. Okay, someone type in placement. This is lower and it goes higher for the corner. So put a dot right here, right in the middle. See, right in the middle, put a dot right here. And now I'm going to ang angle. Someone type in the drawing direction compass. Someone draw it because we're using this angle now. I'm going to use this angle, southwest. I want to have a post coming out in this angle, direction southwest. Right here, one of the most common positions that an artist uses. So it's curved. So it's going to come down. See, I'm following this line up here. If I keep my eye on that. And I'm going to put a four shortened circle. It's going to be bigger here. It's going to get a little bit smaller as it comes out over there. So there's a bird post here. We're going to put a bird sitting on the post. It's going to be really cool. It's going to look really cool. All right, now, just, just out of curiosity's sake, let's do something here. Watch this. I'm going to do something cool. Right back here, I'm going to put this post go all the way through. And so you'll see back here, look at this. I'm going to put a little post hidden back behind here, a little a smaller post. I think I'll even make it shorter. I think I'll make it shorter. I think I'll curve it right here. What do you think? So we have one, two, three. Is that, does that look cool? Now, I, I don't know. I think I should lower this one. Would you guys like it How if it goes straight through like that? Well, that means I can put another one back here, put another little post back here. Or on this one, these are really going to be cool. I'm not sure. We can go really fancy with these posts. You can do all kinds of things. Now, hey, now you want to do something really cool. Let's, let's put a, uh, I want to put a doorway. You guys want to put a little bird patio? Oh, this would be hilarious. Oh, this is going to be totally funny. All right. Now, here's what we're Thank you on the text. Uh, Cameron and Kanan, thank you for texting uh, Tanya, some advice about how to get the sound to work. I appreciate that. You guys are taking care of each other. Thanks for, for helping me with that. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a little, a little patio bit right here. So put a dot. I'm going to angle this down. The same angle as this. I'm going to put a little doorway, see? And then I'm going to stop out right here. And I'm going to put, I think I'll put a four short and circle. Watch this. I'm going to come out. I'm going to come around. I'm going to put a little patio, a little bird patio. Okay, so it'll come straight down. This will be really cute. Little birds will be sitting here. Now, uh, the birds are going to be a little bit smaller, see? So I can have a bird sitting here walking in. Maybe I'll have a bird peeking out from the behind here, but I've got to put, put the bird door away. Put a little door away right here. And then so we, we can see them, right? There's a little doorway. Door's on the right side, so the thickness is on the right side. And then I'll erase this part. Okay. All right, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this little bird patio here? And then I'll erase this. And then there's a little bird patio. Isn't that fun? Now we could do this. See, we could have the bird patio kind of curving in like this, and it comes out. Do you like that? I, mean, I think I'm going to try that. Four short shape. This, I want it to, to merge back in with, with this thickness here, see? So let's see. If it comes down, let me see here. If I curve it, then have it do this, and then I kind of curve it up there. That's cool. All right, so you just have to shape it, mold it, and erase it. That's funny. We have a very, very advanced 
Okay, you guys keep hang in there with me. It'll it'll unlock and then um, it'll open back up again. All right, so we have that vertical line. And what else do we want to add? We can add some over here, but let's let's go ahead and draw the birds in there. So I'm going to put a bird right here. I'm going to put a bird sitting here on the end. I'm going to put a bird right here. And then I'm going to put a smaller bird back here. Do you know what this reminds me of? I did this one drawing of a, a city of birds. Where's my city of birds? Let me see if I can find the sample. I thought I brought it up here. Here, look at it. Oops, that's not it. Let's see. Where's my city of birds? Oh, here it is. You see these guys right here? This is my secret city of birds. And what I want to do is I'm going to open up the text box. You guys, give me a 1 through 10. How, how does the, this look, the color and the brightness? Let me brighten up a little bit. Because I'd, I'd like you guys to see all these little uh, foreshortened cylinders that are attached to the side and the birds standing there. But what I was thinking is way back here, see how small this one is? Way back behind here, and this is closer. Give me a 1 through 10 for how the video is working. Some of you are tens and some of you are like three, so thanks for hanging in there. And some of you are zeros. Well, thanks for hanging in there, you guys. It will clear up, but just a lot of it has to do with your internet traffic and your zip code. All right. So this is cool. We, we're, we have uh, a bird here, a smaller one. And then down here, I think I'm going to have a bird poking out down here, a little guy waving. This little guy's going to be going, hey, hi, how are you? Hey, coming out the doorway. Okay, this will be cool. All right, so now we start darkening in the details. For the top, this top is going to be a bunch of shingles. So we're, we start here. Look at this. I'm going to draw a row of shingles and another row of shingles, another row of shingles. I start with one angle. See the angles? You've got to use alignment. I'm using my pencil and my eye. I'm looking at the lines I've already drawn. And this fondus is going to be a little more advanced than you're used to, and you're going to have to uh, go on uh, and watch the recording. So there's one. Now this one's going to have a few more singles, and then this one's going to have more, and this one's going to have more, and this one's going to have more. So the top one, and then I have more, and then I have more. And then I have more, so I'm following the angle. Okay? So there's shingles. That's going to be, that's going to look great. All right, so this, this bird's going to be, his beak's over here. There's his eyes. And this guy, I'm going to put his beak right here. And there's his beak. And then here's his eyes. I'm going to go through do the eyes first. This guy's beak's going to be looking right at you. So here's his eyes looking. He's going to be looking right at you. Isn't that funny? I put all the eyes first. And now the window. The window's on the right side. So the window's on the right side up here. So let's put the thickness on the bottom and the right side. And then I think I'll have... Here, I'm, I'm going to put two little eyes inside here that you can barely see. So here, so you can see his top of his head, and he's peeking out here. See, I've got to put the... So I'm not even going to have his beak. I'm just having his eye, his little eye you can see. That's a pretty big bird in there. That's going to look cool. Look at it. It's darkening it in. Little guy that sees peeking out. Okay. Now, the window's over here on the left, so put the thickness on the left. On this one, I think I'll definitely have him peeking out the window. Uh, I don't know. 
No, I don't like that because I like seeing that window. I think on this one, you, you know, here's here what you could do. Look, at you can change right in the middle of doing your drawing. On this one, I'm just going to have the empty window because I like seeing that. It's like this this guy blocked out, right? So he's that window's empty. So darken it in. There's contrast. That's value. It's darker. And then we'll put this. Now let's look at our bird on the city of birds for reference. Isn't that a fun one? Isn't that cool? This was based on my old TV show called The Secret City. It gives me ideas for drawing. All right, so on this one, I'm going to put his wings here, and he's waving. So I'll put his feathers, and then I'll, I'll way back here, you can see that his feet, his toes curving around the end. Looking cool, you guys. Now let's darken in this. I'm going to darken in the shingles. See, I'm going to darken in the shingles, and then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, see they're bigger here, and they get a bit smaller as they move away. They're bigger in the center, but I, for some reason, it's easier for me to pull it toward me. And then you're going to you're going to love what I'm going to do here. I'm going to shade inside the detail. So watch this. I'm going to draw the tip. One shingle. This has more shingles. That has more shingles. Darken it in. Take your time. Oh, that looks great. Hey, send me a text. Uh, where are you guys from? What state are you guys from? We have our whole full class today. And I didn't take a look at the map. I generally like to see where, where you're from. So uh, I'm going to draw that in the middle. So watch this. Send me a text where you're from. Now look, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put darkness up in between. I'm going to take my time. This is fun. You, usually we do four drawings in an hour. In this lesson, we're going to get two drawings. We'll get this one and this one done. And we're going to be out of time. Can you? This is awesome. We just did a like a full half the lesson just on one uh, one drawing here. I love the birdhouse. Put the dark shadow for the contrast. You see, we you never know. How, now here, here's the the tail feather. This here's his tail. You never know how your drawing is going to end up. So we start off with the idea of drawing four drawings. And then we end up with two really detailed ones. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's darken in the center. And then really get the nook and crannies. You know, when I was teaching in Brazil a couple months ago, that they, they speak Portuguese. They, they're a beautiful language. I didn't know they speak, spoke Portuguese. I learned one word when I was in uh, Brazil. I learned one word. I was there for four days visiting elementary schools and uh, some junior high and high schools. And the word I learned was abrig abrigado. Abrigado. Say that. Can you say that? Abrigado. That's uh, thank you. And I also learned that they don't have a term, a phrase called nook and cranny. Give me a happy face if you know what I mean when I say to get it dark in all the nook and crannies. Get it dark. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? What do you think? Yeah? Okay. Um well, they don't have a phrase. I'm going to put a look at the bird feather. I'm going to have his uh, fingers here. And this guy, his toes are curving around this way. So what I did, they don't have a, a term for nook and cranny, so I had to think of something else for the kids to get the idea what I was talking about when I was shading. And so I said, think of a waffle. Think of a waffle. Isn't that clever? And you pour syrup on the waffle. And there's his tail. And when the syrup pours on the waffle, it fills up all the little crevices, right? All the nooks and crannies. And so they go, oh, yeah, that's right. So then they, they got it. Then they understood. Isn't that great? All the nooks and the crannies. Love to love it, love it, love it. All right, this is cool, you guys. I'm going to put his eyes. He's looking over here, looking to the left. 
And I think I want his wing kind of folding over the front here. So you see his, and then I see his top of his hair. There's his wing, he's waving. And you see a little bit of that thickness of that behind there. I love being able to see that little bit of a doorway, that little detail. Isn't that fun? All right, let's open up the text box. Let's see how you guys are doing. I know I'm going fast. This is our intermediate and advanced class. Remember, you can watch this when we uh, when we do the uh, when I post it. You can watch my posting on this on the recording. Okay. And I probably on this one. I'm probably going to post this one on YouTube too. I hope you guys join me on YouTube. I hope you guys right here. I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys decide to take my 30-day drawing challenge. Subscribe and draw. Now, the way you get to my YouTube channel is go to markkissler.com, click about, and you'll see a button right in uh, about Mark Kissler. You'll see my YouTube channel right there. Now, so this guy, let's go ahead and draw his beak. And the near eye is larger, far eye gets smaller. Let's clean it up. For the birds, this is one fancy birdhouse, isn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shade now. I'm going to use all uh, vertical lines. You can use angles. Just if you, once you start shading, make sure you keep all the angles the same, okay? It'll look much nicer and neater. You can do scribbling and cross hatching at different angles. Um, well, you hear, here's what I'm talking about. If you do different angles, try to make them uniform so it looks nice for the eye. So I'm doing all vertical, but watch this. Let's say I want to come back in and do some some of this to darken it up. This is called cross hatching, and a lot of cartoonists will do that too. So put cross hatching there. Um, let's put the feathers. This is organized chaos, right? Some big, some small, right? And then here's his wing, right? Blocking that wing. There's a thumb up. Let's see what. My stop is really worn out. Pieces are literally falling off and it still works. Asha sent me a good text. She said her stompy. That's so great. Tanya, thanks for your patience. I'm sorry you can't hear. Uh, Cameron, what do you mean? Not good Zion. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Let me see. Someone said something in the text box. Uh, I'm not sure what you meant by what do you mean not good Zion. Maybe I was mumbling and I said something that you couldn't understand. Uh, if somebody understands what she's asking, can you answer it for her in the text box? I said something that she couldn't quite hear because I'm, sometimes I mumble. I get excited about my drawing and I blue garble. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you, Lily. You guys are texting. You're such great students. You guys are my favorite students, except for my other students. <laughs> Oh, I cracked myself up. Oh, I love this, you guys. Three birds on a tree branch. This guy's singing. You can, I'm going to put a little music note. And then this guy right here is going, huh? Look at this guy's going, what? Why are you, why are you doing that? See, he's going, huh? What? Make it more. Isn't that funny? I don't know what this guy is. This guy is making, ah, and this guy's going, ah, this guy's going, hmm. All these different, all these different stories going on here. Now, I want to darken in the, uh, oops, I'm going to fix his toes. I'm going to shorten these toes up. So you can see the bottom of the post. And then you see the shading continuing down. And then we'll do the cross hatching to make it uniform. That looks really cool, you guys. Sometimes I'll take my finger and I'll just smooth it out on my, with my finger to make it look cool. And then I'll take my stompy. I definitely want to tone in this whole side. The sun, I'm having the sun come from over here. See, the sun's coming from, from this way. So I'll shade. And then definitely the little details. So I'll zoom in and show you what I'm doing here. I hope you guys can see what. Let's focus a little bit here. 
and then I'm taking my stompy and I'm getting really detailed. Isn't that great? And let's shade over here. Is that oh, I love it! I love it. Take your finger and go, aha! I'm a genius. Somebody text me, aha! Somebody text me, aha! Aha! Someone text me, Yahoo! We love to draw. Someone text me, Ninja Banana! I have no idea how Ninja Banana fit in with the drawing, but it's cool, so I had to stick it in there. I had to put them in there. Somebody text me in here. Someone text me in here. Uh, I was going to whistle, but I can't whistle. I was going to whistle right now, and I can't whistle. Can you believe that? I have never been able to whistle. Never in my whole life. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I tell you, what a burden I bear, not being able to whistle. My brothers would show off and my sisters. Can you guys whistle? Do you know how to whistle? If you know how to whistle, I want you to uh, uh, send me a text saying, I can whistle. Let me see. How many of you can whistle? Wow. Look at everybody saying you can whistle. I just never got it. I never understood. I couldn't get it. I really? Couldn't. And I, you know what? I never could burp. I still, I'm 53 years old, and in my whole life, even when I was a baby, my mom could never get me to burp. Can you believe that? Now you're probably wondering, oh, then how did you get the gas out of your system? Well, you know you know what I did. I went, I went did the other way, but I didn't burp. Can you believe I just made a little sound on live web gas? I could never burp, though. I never, still to this day, my kids, they burp just to make me feel like, you know, I can't burp, so, oh, I feel sad. I've never been able to burp. How many of you can burp? You guys are so lucky. I've never been a whistle and never been able to burp. I tell you, I'm a challenged individual. This guy, look at this bird. He's pointing. This boy's going, hey, I'm talking to you. Look at, he's pointing. I'm talking to you out there. Okay, let's take your stompy and blend it. Blend it, leaving the eyes white. Let's put a little tone. Definitely the, got to shade the side and underneath. See this? We've got a shade. Oh, a little shadow. We've got to put a cast shadow. It's super important. See what I'm doing? I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing my stomp into here like a palette. I'm getting that residual pencil in, and then I'm going to blend it. See? All right. You with me? Do you guys love it? Do you guys love it? I love it. I love it. You know what? Let's have a contest. Let's have a contest. If you guys send me a self-addressed, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and uh, say that you want in on the contest, you want to win one of my drawings, one of my drawings from the live class. Anybody want an original drawing? Anybody want one of these that I draw in class? I only have like 300 of these things. So anybody want one? All right. Well, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and ask for. I'll send you one of my cards. I'll send you one of my cards. I'm not going to let you choose a specific card. I'm going to send you uh, one that I want to send you because I have. It would take me a long time to you know go through and get specific cards. But I have 54 different ones, so you get one of them. One per family, please. One card per family. If you want more, please consider supporting me and purchasing an art print or purchasing an art card or purchasing a uh, art commission. I'm an artist, and I really. And so my kids appreciate your business and your support as a working artist. That is just so important. I couldn't do it without you, my viewers and my fans and my students. All right. So there you go. There's our birdhouse. And there's our whole lesson here. You guys did so great. Oh, my goodness. We didn't have time to do the, the whole paper, but I'll put my card down here. Actually, I'm going to put my – oh, well, I'll put my card, Mark Kistler. Or – let me see here. Where's my YouTube card? Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to YouTube. There you go. I'll put it there. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Okay? One drawing a day for 30 days. There you go. Thank you guys for drawing with me. You're amazing. Please stay on the air with me, and I will put you your picture on the camera. That's just, let's take advantage of us being live together. And if, with, if your parents are in the room, remember, if your parents are in the room, uh, you can flip your camera on, and then uh, all the kids around the world that are watching this here at my Mark Kistler Live on Mondays, um, you can share your art with them, and I can talk to you about your art. All right, so 
Hold on, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody that's watching the recording. Bye, everybody! Sharpen your pencil, grab some paper, get ready, it's almost time. Mark will show you how to get on the paper what's in your mind. A rocket ship, a pair of shoes, a shooting star, and some kangaroos. Have you enjoyed drawing today? Want to continue the fun? Head over to draw3d.com and join now. Pencil power!